Good morning, children. Today we are going to continue with the topic nouns. In our previous lecture, we had done a quick recap on proper noun and common noun. I'm sure you've all understood the difference and the usage of proper noun and common noun in your vocabulary. Now today we are going to talk about the third kind of noun, collective noun. Now, collective noun, as you can guess, it comes from the word collection. So, what is a collective noun? A collective noun is a word that is used to represent a group of people, animals or things. A collective noun refers to a group of people, animals or a collection of things taken as a whole. Now, remember children, when you take a lot of people, a lot of animals, a lot of things of the same kind and form one group. You treat that group as one whole and you give it a name. The name that you give that group is a collective noun. Now the important thing to remember in this collective noun is that you can't randomly pick up objects of different kinds or animals of different kinds and put them in one group. The important part is that you take people, things or animals of the same kind they are all similar, they are all of the same kind and you form one group and that group is treated as one whole. It is one whole and that one group is given a name and that is a collective noun. Now by the end of this lesson, I am sure you would have learned to identify a collective noun and you will also know how to use collective nouns in your vocabulary. Few examples, flock, choir, pack, gang. Well, let's go over each one of them. Flock. Flock is used for flock of sheep. Choir. Choir is used for singers. Pack. Pack of wolves. Even pack of cards. That the playing cards that you have. Gang. Gang is used for gang of thieves. Gang of robbers. People who steal. They are thieves or robbers. So these are the collective nouns. Now let's go over a few other examples of collective noun. First, we'll go over few which are related to people. A band of musicians, a choir of singers, a gang of thieves, a bevy of girls, a staff of employees, a crowd of people, an army of soldiers. Now remember children, in these, a band of musicians. For example, only band is the collective noun. The entire phrase is not a collective noun. Only band is the collective noun. And as soon as someone says band, the band played wonderfully well at the concert yesterday. Now, as soon as somebody says this, you would understand that, okay, a band was playing. That means there were a lot of musicians sitting together and playing wonderful music. A choir of singers. If I say the choir sang beautifully in the morning assembly. So as soon as I say that, you would understand that, okay, mom is talking about the choir. That means a lot of singers sang wonderfully, melodiously in the morning assembly. The collective noun is choir, only choir. A gang of thieves. The police chased the gang and caught them. So as soon as I say that, you would understand that ma'am is talking about gang. Gang means collective noun for robbers or thieves. So a gang of thieves, gang is the collective noun. Again, a baby of girls. A staff of employees. Employees are the people who work in a place. So a lot of them together, we give them one name, staff. Sometimes you hear on the PA system in school also that there is a staff meeting. That means all the teachers and all the people who work in your school, they're all staff. They're supposed to go and attend the meeting. Staff is a collective noun. A crowd of people. The crowd cheered loudly for the Indian cricket team. So at the stadium... There was a crowd. That means there were a lot of people who were there. They were cheering for the Indian cricket team. And crowd is the collective noun. An army of soldiers. The army fought bravely and defended our country. So as soon as I say army, you know ma'am is talking about the collective noun army which is for soldiers. Lot of soldiers together. We give them one name. That is army. So band, choir, gang, bevy, staff. Crowd, army, these are all collective nouns. So you must remember which collective noun is used for which noun, as in what kind of, 
which are the people, which are the things or which are the animals that are put together and what is that collective noun that you get. So it's very important for you to learn the list of collective nouns which is given in your book. Now, this is for animals, list of collective nouns for animals. A pride of lions. So a lot of lions together, we call them pride. A flock of sheep. The farmer was looking after his flock at the pasture. So as soon as I say the farmer was looking after his flock, that means there were a lot of sheep together and the collective noun for sheep is flock. A gaggle of geese, a pack of wolves. Wolves, we all know you've learned about wolf in the story Red Riding Hood, the big bad wolf. So when we take a lot of wolves together, we give them one name, pack. Now pack is a collective noun that is used for wolves as well as playing cards. You all have your uno cards with which you play. So pack is used for that also. A swarm of bees, the honey bees. So a lot of them together, we call them swarm. A troop of monkeys, a lot of monkeys together. We will call them troop. So remember children, you have to remember the collective noun. The collective nouns are pride, flock, gaggle, pack, swarm and troop. Now, a few more collective nouns. For things. Now, list of collective nouns for things. Stars. When lot of stars put together, we call them galaxy. Gal galaxy is the collective noun. Flight of steps. I quickly ran up the flight of steps. So, lot of steps, we give them a collective noun, flight. A pile of books. Ma'am requested me to carry the pile to the, to the staff room. So, as soon as I say pile, you know that I'm talking about lot of books together. Now, there's another collective noun for books, library. Please go and sit quietly in the library. So, library is a collective noun for lot of books. So, pile is obviously lesser number. Library is a much more larger number of books we are talking about. So, pile and library, both are collective nouns for books. String of pearls. String is the collective noun. Bouquet of flowers. I bought a beautiful bouquet for my mother on Mother's Day. So, a lot of flowers together. We give them one name, collective noun, bouquet. A sheaf of papers, a set of tools. So, the collective nouns are galaxy, flight, pile, string, bouquet, sheaf, set. Now, remember children, you must learn these collective nouns by heart. It's very important for you to learn all the collective nouns that I did regarding the people, the animals, the things. Please learn the list by heart. Now, there are a few funny ones which I put together. An absence of professors. We know professors are those who teach us. Imagine an absence. It is not absence. Absence is the collective noun. A circus of monkeys. Again, circus is the collective noun. An army of frogs. Oh my God, imagine an army of frogs. Army is the collective noun. We all know that army is also a collective noun for soldiers. A murder of crows. You're not murdering the crows, but murder is the collective noun. A shiver of sharks. I'm sure we would all shiver when we see a lot of sharks in front of us. But in this case, shiver is the collective noun. A bike of bees. It's not a bike made of bees, but bike is the collective noun. A crossing of zebras. We all know zebra crossing, where we are supposed to cross the road. So, crossing is the collective noun. These are a few funny ones. I'm sure you can also dig out a few more. So, absence, circus, army, murder, shiver, bike, crossing are all collective nouns. Now, this is an exercise which you have to do in your notebook. So, you will take out a new page. You've already done recap 1 from the lecture on proper nouns and common nouns. Today, we will do recap 2. So, you will write the date. You will write recap 2 as the heading. You will write identification, collective noun as it's written in the slide. And you have to read the sentences. There are six sentences. And all you have to do is just pick out the collective noun from these sentences. So let's go over them together once to see if you have understood. The gang of robbers was caught by the police. Very simple. Gang. Gang is the collective noun. I bought a bouquet for my mother. Yes, you are right. The collective noun is bouquet. Rohan liked the movie about the herd of elephants and the pride of lions. So the collective noun is herd and pride. I saw a galaxy of stars shining in the sky. Galaxy is the collective noun. The class was punished by the teacher. You all belong to different classes. So class is a collective noun for students. 
So class is the collective noun. The choir sang melodiously at the concert. As I told you, choir is the collective noun for singers. So choir is the collective noun. So I hope you have understood and you, have, you will be able to pick up the collective nouns on your own. Once you have done that, there is a slide on answers. So just cross check your answers with this slide and see if you've got the right answers. We all know gang for robbers or thieves, bouquet is for flowers. So just check your answers and see if you've all got them right. So I hope you've understood how to identify collective noun in a sentence. Thank you.